Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Hollow Knight. Uh, since the last episode I did that thing where I went and recovered my uh, soul. Or ghost, or whatever, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, which unfortunately got stuck behind a wall. Which I think... Well, not technically a wall, but it... Got stuck behind a barrier I don't have the means to get through yet. That was the biggest problem. Uh, but it is a problem that we got through, so we can start this episode off tackling the next section of the game, which is going to be getting to that dreamer who is very close by, actually. Um, and we'll see what happens after that. Like, I almost have a slight suspicion that we are getting towards the end of this game, but... Obviously, there must be like a shit ton of stuff that I missed. Which I will either... Hold on. I don't know. I've not yet looked through the comments if people have been dropping hints, but... If people don't, or if people do, fuck. Maybe I'll look up some stuff, you know, just like, but then I, I don't want to like spoil the, see, I'm almost like 100% sure there's multiple endings, but I don't want to spoil them, uh, but then, fuck it, we'll just take the game as is, uh, I'll keep exploring, and you know, it might not be the case that we are getting towards the end, there might be like a ton of stuff left to do. But, just in case we are, I will definitely do more, ouch, exploration. Okay, hold on a second. Shit. Oh no! That was really, that was like a terrible sequence of events. Everything that could have gone wrong basically went wrong. Shit, there isn't even anything on here. I was hoping there would be like another path. There wasn't. So anyways, I think that's gonna be the the game plan here. And they really like throwing this enemy at you, don't they? I mean, this isn't the worst. This big uh, jellyfish thing is not the worst. Oh, hello. Doesn't this kingdom just abound with surprises? A building atop an acid lake. Despite the sight, I can't help but feel familiarity. Huh. Okay. Great for you. Thing is, it beckons me as well. There's for sure gonna be. Other, they, they just gave you a shortcut. Uh, they just gave you a shortcut, which means there is most likely going to be a boss here, which we will get to right about now. Teachers' archives. Interesting. This is a cool area. Oh, a bench. Nice. Okay, this looks like it's going to be more involved than just getting to the dreamer, you know, and... Just killing him. Which I'm happy about. Because I personally thought each of these dreamers was going to be a boss on its own. But it's not quite the case. We just have, okay, just having a look around. I wonder if that, the invincibility protects you from that as well. The electricity. Oh yeah, that's how you do it. I was just about to say, I was just about to say I've like almost completely forgotten how to do 
the crystal charge. Because it's like not a move you use. Maybe I should be using it. <laughs> Hold on, does it just loop around? Fuck, it does, doesn't it? Well, I'm stupid. Overthought it a little bit. Oh, shit. Yep, it's a Metroid. Umu? Okay. What? Okay. Shit. Are you hearing the music? The music is awesome. Oh, it's him! Holy shit! He like, he like helps you. This is awesome. We are actually like co-oping. And he's saying shit too. Okay, just don't touch him. Fuck! <laughs> okay. Well, I'm obviously... Like, or obviously, most likely gonna die. He's coming towards me. Damn. Intercepted. That's really cool. Okay. I was kind of shook there, but... Well, there was a lot going on. But I get it. I get it. This is really cool. We actually have a co-op partner. Which I never thought would happen in this game. Listen, I'll take a co-op partner any day of the week. I gotta figure out where my little ghost is. I mean, if that's all this thing does in terms of... Oh shit. In terms of attacks. Not gonna be that difficult. I get it now. At least I, the thing is I won't be able to like, not won't be able to, I won't like try to hit him. But this is, liter this is literally a Metroid. Like this is... Fuck! I panicked. This is straight up, huh? Damn it. Okay, you, you like really cannot like hesitate. Oh man, that is you do not have a lot of time for that, do you? Shit. Heal. Okay, sticking to the walls might be a bad idea. Because you slide down. Oh, this is like really difficult to avoid that. Shit. Okay, this is... This is a little bit more difficult than I initially thought. Because that attack is like very finicky to avoid I don't have the technique down quite yet I cannot believe that it's all good so you can make it from this side as well yeah it's actually easier coming from this side at least I have one point of healing
Okay. Oh man, those are tricky to avoid. Okay. All right, little buddy, you can. Thank you. I was like, you can show up now. I think you just gotta like very steadily keep moving forward. Yeah, like not hesitate and shit. Yes. Oh, he can float off screen? Fair. Okay, someone tell me why he can pierce this Metroid looking motherfucker and I cannot. Oh fuck you. I almost I almost teleported out. No! <sighs> Damn. Don't I have a charm that... Wait. I think I'm getting this game confused with Blasphemous. Because Blasphemous there is a charm or like a rosary bead where you can see the health of enemies. But I think... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Blasphemous. Never mind. I was like, I would hella use that to figure out how much HP this fool has. Oh no, no! Oh, I'm stupid. Hold on. So again, yeah, like avoiding him is. It looks simple. But it's not as simple as you thought or I thought. And this attack is more difficult to avoid than... Oh, motherfucker. Come on. I can't get about like three hits in. Oh man, this is taking more concentration than I thought. Sometimes you really think yeah, you're like out of range. But it's not. Okay. Oh shit. See like there. No, oh fuck.
Oh, he did one more. Who? Oh, why is this so nerve-wracking? I don't know. Okay. Yes. Okay, it looks like... No, no, no. Okay, I was gonna say it never touches those platforms, but it does. Okay, just gotta keep this up. Is he exploding? Is he dead? Okay. That was not easy. Damn. That was legit not easy. Thanks, buddy. I don't know where you disappeared to. But thanks. Couldn't have done it without you. We would have needed the ice beam or some shit to kill this thing. That's for sure. Okay, let's put a platforming section after this. I didn't mean to break your shit. My bad. Thankful with charged Lumafly. Interesting. It's filling out my bestiary. Of absent. Whoa. Oh, you know what this thing is? It's like that thing, you know. In Final Fantasy VIII. What was the name of that sorceress? She like did the weird shit. Adele. Yeah, I think. <laughs> or Adel or whatever. Not, not Adele like the singer, but. You know which one I'm talking about. The one that was like stuck on the space station. Does anybody else remember that? I have no idea where to go now. Um, I mean, I did something by deactivating this. No, I did not. Can you, like, not charge? Okay. Because we for sure cannot make it through there. It's 100%. 100%. But there's another side. There is another side. Again. Sorry for breaking all your shit. I don't know if that did anything, but I'll hit it just in case. Okay. I think we are getting there. Oh, this is some weird shit. Something glows within the tank. Did she call you too then? I realize it's no coincidence we arrived together. Though much of my memory is blank, this place I recall. Okay. To save Helen as the teacher willingly became a seal, but upon herself she enacted an additional protection. Okay. That's excellent. This character is really cool. Like these, I gotta say, the quality of NPCs in this game is way better than Dark Souls. No weird laughs. 
no weird anything, you know. So, GG's. GG's. Hello. And now we gotta like charge or something. I remember what to do this time around. The game doesn't have like prompt me. We can go full Super Saiyan. And I think with that, like, the seal is broken. Or the door is open or something. Teacher. Nice. That's really cool. I like you. I like you a lot, little buddy. Whose name I don't remember. But it's all good. Imagine if we come all the... Come all this way, and we die in the fucking acid. Alright. Well, that was really good. I think... Like, that would mean we can progress to the end game, right? I, I, the only thing I can imagine is... Okay, these did not deactivate. Is that those are... This is the end game. That black egg or whatever. I see no other purpose for it other than to be endgame material. Can you like not? Cool. Anyways, we're going back to the bench. That's for sure. And then I gotta figure out where to go. So here's the deal. The dealio. Uh, I can remember at least two more of these like shadow barrier things. There's 100% one down in Deep Nest. I, I remember very clearly the one in Deep Nest. The only question is how much of a pain in the ass is it going to be to get to that one? Because if I remember correctly, there is no uh, stag nest or station or whatever there so it's gonna be annoying to get to in fact it might be edit the video level of annoying to get to oh yeah why did I always come in here she doesn't say anything interesting but it's all good I still like you Yeah, that was, that was badass. We beat that stupid Metroid-looking motherfucker. Uh, let me just check. Deep Nest. Oh, man, that is... I mean, technically... Going to the palace grounds and then taking the tram would be the... Yeah, that's looking like the most convenient path, actually. Oh, you know, there is one thing I forgot to do. That I wanted to do for quite a while. The resting grounds. I'm pretty sure I can now upgrade my dream nail or whatever, right? I've been collecting quite a bit of this essence. Essence. Couldn't even say it properly. I've been collecting quite a bit of that. So... I think... If I'm correct... I should get a little upgrade. Hello. God damn it. 500? 
Damn, how much? I have like 300 or something. Yeah, now I remember that. The jump is quite a... Yeah, 397. The jump is quite large. I wonder what how much you need to max that thing out. Okay, so we're going to the hidden station. And then we'll make it to Deep Nest, I think. So here's the thing. This episode might be a little bit shorter because... Uh, I was quite busy at work today and the day kind of stretched longer than anticipated. So I'm recording this kind of late. Uh, in terms of, I think, achieving what I wanted to achieve... I've pretty much done everything I wanted. The abyss is so cool. I didn't even notice that it looks... It's like mapped out like that. That's really cool. And there's still something under. Like the palace. Weird. Probably something we'll be able to get to eventually. Yeah, so again, just in the interest of time and not to have this episode go up at like midnight. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here. And I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Hollow Knight. I think we actually, compared to some episodes, we actually got something done. And I'm kind of kind of glad about that. Because, you know, you got to have that get shit done attitude. You know, that that's what I would say if I was like a motivational speaker or something. Which I am not. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Hollow Knight. And I think I'll see all of you next time in Deep Nest. Where we will go, we will go behind the shadow barrier. Yeah, peace out.